Hello everyone, Angela here with Taro Family Chiropractic and your weekly PSA or piece of salutogenic advice. So we're into a new month, new theme, but continuing with the idea of staying happy and healthy through the holidays and the things that you should be mindful of as we continue through the holiday season so that you can really keep yourself um, going strong instead of falling into that post-holiday uh, slump and, and, and illness that seems to sometimes come along with this time of year. So today really talking about, which seems perfect since we're in between, you know, we're past Thanksgiving here, um, it's still a few weeks away from some of the winter holidays, uh, Christmas still a few weeks out here. So this idea of making sure that the uh, holiday, the the holiday doesn't extend for the entire uh, entirety of these couple months. So really, the thing to focus on is making sure that you are continuing to eat a balanced diet in between the big holiday festivities. So you know, understandably, there's a lot of um, a lot of events going on this time of year, not just this, the actual holiday meals, but you know, office parties, friend gatherings, uh, going, you know, going out, seeing things, doing things, and all of those things should absolutely be enjoyed. But remembering that a balanced diet is really key to your overall health um, and really your immunity uh, for several reasons. So this time of year, again, a lot more sugar is consumed, a lot more refined carbohydrates. And essentially, the more that we eat, the more that we're going to want to eat. So sugar triggers those uh, pathways in the brain that makes us feel very good, very happy, and makes us want more. So it's really easy, especially this time of year, where those things tend to be more accessible as well, that we can find ourselves kind of mindlessly getting into this uh, excessive eating of sugar and refined carbohydrates. So. What that really does, sugar negatively impacts the immune system. So actually, the more sugar you consume, the more likely you are to get sick. Um, we're all exposed to things this time of year, so you really the best chance you have of staying healthy is making sure that your immune system is working at its best. So limiting the sugar in between the gatherings, so you know maybe not having it in the house or you know just saying say no to it from time to time so that you give your body that chance to reset and recover in between events and gatherings where you may be consuming more of it than usual is a good way to to really help kind of combat that uh, those increases that we see this time of year and then really making sure that the meals that you're preparing in between the holidays and the, and the gatherings and um, and the running around, making sure that those are a nice balanced meal. So you want to look for a lot of healthy protein, healthy fats, um, and if you're doing carbohydrates, again, making sure that they're whole food based. So um, you know, kind of staying away from some of the more refined carbohydrates on those in between meals is really going to help reset your body as well. So you know, really loading up with the veggies this time of year is a great antioxidant booster. And then again, the healthy fats, the healthy proteins are going to help you feel full for longer. They're going to uh, not spike your, your insulin in the same way that the sugar does. So it'll give that, um, that system a chance to come down and, and recover as well. So really making sure that you know, you're not treating every single day like a special event. Enjoy those events as they come up, but making sure that the meals that you can control, trying to prepare at home, um, trying to make sure that you have healthy options at home. Meal prep is a great strategy all year long, but really this time of year as we tend to get really busy, uh, especially if you're running around, if the kids have all kinds of different activities, making sure that you have those healthy options ready and available is the easiest way to make sure that everybody can continue to have good, healthy, nutritious meals in between some of the more uh, feasting and indulgences that tend to come with this time of year. So really, really focus on, you know, enjoying the time, the individual events, but not getting lost in the overall holiday hecticness and, and completely throwing your diet, your general uh, diet base out the window for the next month. It's, it can be really tempting to just say, I'm going to start fresh in January, but we still have several weeks leading up to that. And so that's several, you know, several weeks of opportunities. Um, every single day is an opportunity to make good, healthy choices. And all of those healthy days will continue to add up and will really help offset some of the less than healthy days 
and overall will put you in a much better position um, to then truly get back on track in January. So you don't have to wait till January. Every day is a day. It's a good opportunity. It's Wednesday. It's a great day to, to go get some healthy options, make a nice, nice healthy lunch, a nice healthy family for the dinner. Um, make sure you have some leftovers for tomorrow and set yourself up for success on those in-between holiday days. So that is your weekly PSA. Thank you guys so much. As always, any questions or comments, send them my way. And I will see you the same time next week. Stay happy and healthy.